Hi, everybody. Welcome to Thoughts on Shooting with Lunatic Dad and Lunatic Froggy. Today, we are doing a special podcast. I think we might call the podcast The Asylum because both of us are lunatics. Oh, that is 100% accurate, darling. That is 100% accurate. Now, we're going to kick this show off and everything else. First, I want everybody to understand. Give me hell yeah! Hell yeah! Now, as everybody knows, uh, after the Super Bowl in Kansas City, congratulations to them, that they went ahead and had a rally, which was a parade and everything else that they had for the victory and everything else that they won Super Bowl. Now, there have been some tragic events that have occurred after that when they did the rally. It was coming towards the end. It was nearly almost done when this happened. Three 16-year-old kids, three 16-year-old kids just opened fire because they had a dispute. It's been turned out that they had a dispute with each other, so guns were drawn. Now. Here's the problem I got, and it's really got me so fucking mad, is that 16-year-old kids, all right? First off, you could not get that gun legally, okay? Right. You have to be, I think, 18 to purchase a gun? 21. 21. 21 in Kansas City. Now, mind you, Kansas City, Missouri, with all due respect, they are failing their community. And it's failing their state because they have no gun control laws. They don't have to do any type of background checks. I've looked into this. They have no security measures. That you can go into any shop and just purchase a gun. As long as you register the gun to yourself. Here's the problem I got with this. Okay, it has not been brought out yet, and I'm looking forward to continuously following this story. And hopefully that everybody else starts following this story. One, did that guns come from the parents? Did it come from them? And if it did come from them, why are not the parents charged with leaving an open firearms available to someone underneath the age of 21? Right. And second off, who in the fuck brings guns to a Super Bowl parade? I, I cannot, for the life of me, put my head around this i really can't because i'm looking at this as you're going there to celebrate something why do you need protection why do you need a gun with you and everything else well now i will say that a lot of people do care you know they carry open or they have their license to carry concealed because of situations like this where children are getting a hold of guns They're not taught right from wrong. They're not taught that, hey, we don't shoot people. They think that, oh, well, I'm mad at you. I'm going to shoot your ass. And again, it falls down into the category of where the fuck are the parents when this is happening? Exactly. Now, mind you, the schools all called off all the curriculum for the children because of the celebration. It was for the whole state. They called it off as a celebration. Now, getting back, like you said, where were the parents when this happened? I know myself, if my kids were 15, 16 years old, going down to the fucking city of Chicago and celebrating some whatever, I'm being there right there with them because just the way society is. Second off, second off, what the fuck? Why I have listened to every news thing across the board. Not one of them, not one of them have brought up the parents, not one, not the police chief who was on the interview, not the, not anybody in the towns, nowhere, nothing, period. Why aren't people asking, where did they get these guns? Where did they get these guns? You cannot tell me a 16-year-old is responsible enough to be concealing and carrying a weapon. No way, no how. Hell, these damn 16-year-olds can't even deal with if they get fucking acne or whatever the case may be. I mean, realistically, realistically. Which is totally understandable. I I mean, I would not have, like, again, I have a 16-year-old. You best bet there is a GPS tracker on his ass. 
because he and here's where this falls into why you're saying uh they can't be held accountable to buy a gun but yet they can be held accountable as an adult for the murder that they committed here's the thing here's the thing not exactly they are not going to be charged as an adult okay the prosecutor that was talking on CNN, okay? I listen to Fox, too, so don't anybody sits there and be like, well, Dad just listened to CNN. No, I listen to Fox, too, okay? I listen to multi-different media outlets. But they will go ahead and be charged as a juvenile, okay? They're going to be charged as a juvenile. My thing is, again, I want to know where in the fuck were the parents. And if that gun gets traced back to the parents, would you agree with me that the parents should also be charged with an accessory to murder because yes. they turned around and kept it out there to where them teens were able to just grab that guns and take them to a uh, thing that should have been a beautiful thing. Instead, everybody wants to pamper the children. They want to go in and, oh, poor kids, they didn't know what they were doing and everything else. Tell that to the 46-year-old woman who is now her kids no longer have a fucking mother. Tell that to that family and everything else. I say, fuck that. Throw the fucking book at those 16-year-olds. Put their asses in once they get out of juvenile jail. As soon as you turn 18, you get into the general fucking population because you cannot change. You cannot change the events of that day. And also, now, mind you, this is not the first time that at sporting events and everything else where things have happened. Hell, I remember back in the day, in the city of Chicago, when the Chicago Bulls won their championships and everything else, Chicago Cubs and everything else, they tore up that fucking city. Why? Why? It's a celebration. I mean, it, it's gotten to the point to where something's got to be done with these states, uh, with sports. States and sports, it's not mixing because something always happens. Something always fucking bad happens. And until the legislature or the mayors or whoever in charge of these towns and everything else says, you know what, we're going to go ahead. Why couldn't they just do it in Kansas City Field, in Arrowhead, and have people to where you go through the, the things. and Metal the detectors. We yes, yes. We're, they, they, you know, a lot of people saying there weren't enough police. There was 800 fucking police. 800 fucking police. How are you going to sit there and tell me that that's not enough? They, they put their whole force out there. Imagine, just imagine, Lunatic Froggy. Imagine this. If something would have happened outside of there, had nothing to do with the Super Bowl, where were all the police? Where were all the police? Hey, you could have gotten away with fucking anything. Right, exactly. And, okay, so let's, not just the Kansas shit, uh, the Kansas, Missouri, Kansas City, you know, shooting. Not even two weeks ago, down in Texas, there was a shooting at a church. Why are these guns getting in the hands of children? That has been something in which it's not a Republican thing. It's not a Democrat thing. It's not an independent thing. It's a fucking human being, common fucking sense thing. We got to have common sense gun laws, common sense, not saying take away people's guns and everything else. I have screamed for this for the high heavens. They've got to go ahead and make people accountable. If all the gun rights people and all the NRA are screaming out and you can't touch our guns, can't touch our guns, then what the fuck do we do as America? Are we fucking fucking immune are we fucking immune to fucking people getting unnecessarily killed i mean everything else we are as americans we should demand better from our fucking representatives our senators our president i don't give a fuck what you are if you're democrat republican fucking indonesian i don't give a fuck the plain and simple fact is we need smart gun control laws so that we can go ahead and protect the society we as americans have become numb to this you always see these cocksuckers all these politicians and everything else after something bad happens and they go inside their little chambers well we got to do something do something when do they ever do something you tell me when they've they, ever fucking done anything they fucking have let down the american fucking people period Period. The fucking Period. politicians and everything else have turned around and fucking are killing our youth and killing the people of the United States of America. Congress, wake the fuck up. I totally agree with you. Now, 
and I hate to bring this back to me, but like I have guns in this house. I have guns that have bullets in this house. My child knows damn well if you're gonna shoot a gun, you're gonna eat what you're shooting. So I hope to God you don't mind being a cannibal if you're gonna go out there and shoot somebody. But if you're gonna go out there and shoot somebody, I ain't gonna get you a lawyer. I ain't gonna come visit you in jail. Because your ass committed murder, you need to be accountable for it. Not just, oh my god, I'm sorry, I didn't know what I was doing, I was just so bad. If you can't control yourself when you're that mad, go get psychological evaluation and get yourself some help. Exactly, exactly. And I'll tell you what, with these 16-year-olds that did this in Kansas City and everything else, I guarantee you, I guarantee you the parents are going to sit there and say my son billy or bobby or jilly or whatever the fuck names they are because they're not releasing their names because they're juveniles and they're going to turn around and, and sit there and try to play the innocent victim card and everything else it's my son don't do this and everything else no they have grown up just by making that one horrible mistake you can't tell me a 16 year old does not know to fucking fucking pull a trigger and second off why again it comes back to the question why in the world was the gun in their possession at a freaking celebration there's no reason for these kids to be carrying these weapons and everything else but again we have no control over our guns in america we don't have no control uh froggy we have none i mean no uh, we don't i mean we have all the laws but parents don't want to lock up their guns. Parents don't want to teach their kids right from wrong. Gangs are handing our children guns and being like, oh, you want to be cool? Come be in with me. You know what a fucking gang is? It's literally a death sentence. Amen. 100%. Amen. It's a death sentence. I see so many people that are literally getting jumped into these gangs. Do you know how you got to get out of a gang? Blood in, blood out. Blood in, blood out. Either you're getting jumped out or you're getting shot out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, there are people who were affiliated with gangs and have turned their life around for the better. But again, they had to get jumped out because a lot they didn't want to take them away from their kids or whatever but the way we're raising society is horrible back in the old days there was gun there was gang and gang activity Big time. what's changing our society today is the fact that the parents are too busy with their head up their ass Believing that their kid's a good little Christian kid instead of realizing that that person's not the best person for you to be hanging out with, watching mm -hmm. their children. Mm -hmm. Instead of watching their children, it's here, have a tablet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are they learning with music? Gun and violence. Yep, yep. Yep, 150 million fucking percent. Parents nowadays, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but when you're seeing this youth, and I, I mean, especially like on the south side of Chicago, okay, it, it's very commonplace to hear a 12, 13 year old shooting somebody or whatever. It, believe it or not, it happens every freaking day. It just don't get reported on the news. Why? Because why? Is because social media. Us Americans, we are so numb. It doesn't surprise me anymore when I hear 12, 13-year-olds and everything else killing somebody. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty much the norm and everything else. But that's a fucked up attitude to have. That's a exactly. fucked up attitude to have. There's got to be some freaking accountability, some laws, even though we already have laws on the books. But you know what? And for all the damn uh, like I said, the NRA is very powerful. You're talking multi-billions and billions of dollars. They don't want no restrictions, none. And they can't tell me, oh, yes, yes, we do, we do. No, you fucking don't. Because you would go ahead and take some of these damn uh, 
AKs and everything else. The fuck off the street. There's no reason for that. I mean, the gangbangers love it. Hey, we, we can fucking shoot up a whole fucking block on just uh, pulling the fucking trigger or bump stops and all this other shit. You know, the violence that happened in Kansas City, the violence that happened there, I guarantee you, they. I was watching on the news, okay, when this happened. They literally said, and as I was saying, is that it? you're happening all this in the city of Chicago, okay? You got the senators and everything else. I mean, hell, you know, a lot of people say that my home state and everything in Illinois is so left and everything else. Believe it or not, it's pretty much in the center. But the point I'm trying to make is that even in Illinois, they have smart gun legislation, right? But what does it boil down to, honey? What does it boil down to is that even though we have one of the strictest laws here in America, in Illinois, but look at all the killings that are still happening and the guns and everything else. So what is the answer? There is no true, true answer to this because people will get the guns on the black market one way or another, they'll scrape out the serial number or whatever, because if people are hell bent on killing somebody, nine times out of 10, that gun is either not registered to themselves or the serial number is erased. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I mean, honestly, there is an end to it. Fucking beat your fucking children. <laughs> then we'll be doing another live stream about child abuse. <laughs> I'm the, not talking beat abuse? them to the point they're fucking bruised. <laughs> Take their ass, bend them over your knee, and fucking swat them a good fucking one or two times. Oh, I'm I all for that. I guarantee they're going to be like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. take and give the parents back the right to discipline their children. Give them back the right to fucking be like, no, this is wrong. Are you fucking dumb? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're That's not calling your child dumb. You're asking a question. Mm -hmm. I agree 100% with you. Is that, you know, and, 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 the way it is now is, like I said, the law and everything else is so constricting to the parent and everything else. Okay, I'm not it saying is. I'm not saying this is the case in this instant, but I do agree 100 percent is that the law has basically handcuffed parents completely. I mean, back in my day and everything else, if I did some of the shit that's going on nowadays, my ass would have been so damn red. Trust me, there ain't enough damn tomatoes to go ahead and make it any lighter. And the only thing I will say this. I will say this, and, and it's so aggravating to me when I see this over and over again as I uh, it came back in the thought process. Every, they said <clears throat> that there's been a mass shooting in the United States every day this year. I could not believe my ears when I heard this on the news. They said it on CNN, okay? Again, Dad's not affiliated with CNN or Fox or anything. It's just that that's when they were covering the Kansas City shootings. And they said that every day this year, there has been some tor uh, type of mass shooting in the United States of America. And what happens? Like I said, this thing's going to go away. Mark my words, Lunatic Froggy. Mark my words. In a week or two, they're not even going to be talking about this shit in Kansas City whatsoever. What do you do? What do you do when society does not they're, they're completely numb to it. They're, but as me watching this and everything else, I would say this to all the people that are against it and everything. No, you can't restrict the guns. You can't restrict. I'm talking about high profile guns. Now, I ain't talking about a nine millimeter, 44 or whatever, 22 for your own protection in your home. I ain't talking about that. But, or even a shotgun. Yeah, or I mean, shotgun, right. But it's in your home and it's in a case and it's secure and everything else. That is a smart gun owner. Them are We are smart gun owners. But if you got a fucking gun just laying around on a fucking kitchen table or on your nightstand in your bedroom or whatever the case may be, and your son or daughter turns around and takes it, either kills themselves or kills other people. Oh, poor Junior. I cannot believe it. I It was up in my room. Well, did you have it secured? Well, no, I didn't think they were going to go in my room and take it. That's your first mistake. You did you have the think. bullets hidden away so they could get them? The only time my gun is ever put together and ready is when I'm home alone and it's on my table. Again, I'm home alone, safety on, but 
every door is locked except for one door. Because you come in through this door, you're going to get in trouble. If my dogs don't get you, I'm going to get you. And if you through the back doors, my dogs are going to get them. And I would like to say a special salute to the Kansas City police. The ones that, while all the crowd was just going crazy and leaving with the gunshots and everything else, they went into harm's way. They went back. You could see it on the TV where they were all running to the shooter and everything else. They have families too. And you know what? They risked their lives to try to go ahead and stop this from happening. But again, I'm having such a hard time with this is because they're 16 years old. Where did you get the gun? And wherever you got that gun, them people should also be charged an accessory to murder. They they have to. You cannot let this, because there's no way a 16-year-old just walked into a gun shop and says, hi, my name's Frankie. Can I buy a gun? No, that's not what happened. That gun, I guarantee you, when it comes out, was owned by somebody else of age. And they should also then be charged. And yes, I'm saying you should be fucking charged. No doubt about it. Yeah, no doubt but, about uh, it. A, um, the mm-hmm. shooting that was just like just happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was a child. Um, there was another shooting. I just looked up. Uh, how old was the shooter in Texas? Um, used an AR-15 style rifle he purchased days after his 18th birthday. And that was a literal elementary school shooting. What is an 18-year-old going to school and shooting up an uh, elementary for? Why are we not teaching our children? I think there should be a full psychological evaluation. You go to the fucking psychiatrist to be able to purchase a gun. Because apparently, one, parents don't want to get their head out of their ass. Your little Timmy, your little Johnny, your little Suzanne, they're not fucking angels. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Number two, get the gangs off the street. Put them in prison. Keep them in prison. Which overpopulates the prisons. Build more prisons. Number three. A full psychological evaluation. Will fucking solve. A lot of this. I would not give my uncle Gary. A fucking gun. And he's been deemed by the courts. Clinically insane. Mm -hmm. I would not give him a gun. I would rather. I don't know. What's the nastiest thing? Um, I would rather lick somebody's feet after they walked in dog shit <laughs> than give him mm, a gun. Mm, 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 mm. As I as I said before, and I'm gonna say it over and over again, you're never gonna solve the gun problem until the NRA quits putting all this pressure on our representatives. I guarantee you across the board, when all this crazy shit fucking happens and shit goes down, mass shootings all over the place and everything else, but did you ever notice when all the representatives first come out, we need smart gun legislation. We need this. You tell me, please, please, maybe I'm an idiot or whatever. Tell me when any type of gun legislation has been passed i'm gonna give you the time and it happened with george w bush look it up people if you're listening he actually had to where you could not could not have an ar-15 any of these full you know high powered uh guns and everything that can go ahead and just lay out 10 15 bullets at a push of a trigger and everything else i mean the, the hunters hey hey go hunt man I ain't got no problem with that. People to have it inside their homes as far as just regular guns and everything else for the safety of protection of yourself and your family. I got no problems with that. Uh, like I said, I am a gun owner myself. But I do have a problem when 16-year-old kids 
are able to access firearms. There's got to be, like I said, I'm hoping and praying that it was not the parents that went ahead and left it so accessible to them. And if they find out who they got that gun from, if it's not the parents, say they got it on the street or whatever, believe me, a 16-year-old will talk and everything else because that's what they do. They talk, 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 talk without using their brain. They're going to give up who gave them that guns. They're going to give it up. And if they did, by some fucking chance, get that gun with an illegal ID. I mean, there's many case scenarios how they could have gotten it. But if they got it at a gun shop or whatever, and the gun owner just sold it to them, because like I said, look up Kansas City, Missouri. Look up Missouri. They got they, their easiest gun laws in America. E even easier than Texas. Right. And that's pretty sad. Do you know how? Do you know when the number of mass shootings increased? The year that mass shootings increased. I would have to say around a pandemic. Two thousand twelve. It start. It was the mm. uh was where it started to increase. Where we're having seven, six, but in two thousand eighteen, there was eleven mass shooters. Oh, sorry, 2017, there was 11. 2018, there was 12. 2022, there was 12. And 2023, there was 12. So, again, the it, it, it shows you right there. Back exactly. from 2017 on, we stopped protecting our citizens so many mass shootings mm -hmm. now i will tell you that there was serial killers back in since the early days of times there was um again we had the um alphabet bomber um but at the same point in time why are why since two seven 2017 now if you remember back in 2017 they changed the legislation that parents could not spank their child parents could not okay. yell at their children mm -hmm. once they took that out of the household the mass shootings increase because parents are left with no choice but now if a, a parent is strict and disciplined, the child normally knows better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because so, they have been taught the respect. They have been taught it without fear. Without fear. Exactly. I'm not talking make your child afraid of you. I'm talking teach your child. Discipline mm -hmm. your child. She, you can't spank them? Great. Here's no pad and, no, and a pencil. I want 100 sentences. I will not do this. I will not do that. Is that child abuse? No. It's educational. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you're and teaching your child how to write and read and spell. Mm -hmm. And and the thing that got it got me really like pulled at my heart in Kansas City is that I think they said what the hell was it? Sixteen of them were underneath the age of sixteen years old that were put in the hospital. Now, was they all from the guns? No, no, from running and being trampled also by the crowd and everything, and they got hurt. The young kids and everything had to go ahead and be there. But imagine, imagine. What these other, when these young boys and girls grow up and everything else, what psychological effect that is going to have on them. I, being a parent of, you know, with so many boys and, and my two girls and everything else, I can only imagine if they've seen something like that or whatever, how much trauma that would have had to be. You know, we take for granted. We think, oh, our kids are going to be fine. There's going to be, you know, let them grow up. They're going to get over it and everything else. Not a traumatic they event don't. like that. They're never going to get over that. Never. Never. And like I said, the the lady, I mean, I, I keep on thinking about her and everything is, I mean, being 45 years old and just losing, you know, I mean, her children no longer, the husband no longer has a wife or anything. So my prayers go out to them and everything. I mean, but again, 
I heard the chief of police go up on there and everything else. And it, it's almost like you can just press fucking record on all these uh, police chiefs over the years on mass shootings. And they're all going to say the same fucking thing. I mean, why does not one of them just please? I mean, if I'm not being accurate, if anybody's watching this and I know you guys will give me one police chief that came out and said, we must have gun legislation that protects our people. Difference between gun legislation and gun removalization. Big time difference. Big right. time difference. And it's not. A, okay, so let's go back into the 1980s. That was a good time. When I was born. Mm -hmm. I was making a baby around then, too. Just thought it was right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> You were able to, everybody had guns back then, whether mm -hmm. you lived out in the country or you lived in city limits, you had a gun. <clears throat> but it was, you weren't out there shooting people. No, nope. no. Nope. The guns were to stay at home. Why? Because that's where you needed the protection. Now, I understand that we live in a society that fucking kids are hoodlums and nobody really wants to discipline them or, you know, make them held accountable for their actions, including the police department, the judges, and the lawyers. Not one of them wants to be like, you did this. You have to pay the crime. Instead, of, let's plea bargain. Oh, you can get a... Slap on the wrist. Mm -hmm. Slap. On. Mm -hmm. How many more fucking slaps on the wrist can you fucking give somebody? Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, those those parents say, "I'd like to slap you in your face." That lost their their children or lost a husband, wife, or whatever the case may be. Right. They're saying, "Fuck your slap on the wrist." You know, I mean, I if that was my wife and she got killed at a Chicago Bears thing or whatever, like this lady did and everything else. I don't give a fuck. You're 16 years old. I want the hammer thrown at your fucking ass. You Make know. Make sure it hits you, you right know. fucking here and leaves it in then so you remember what you did wrong. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, those they know. Children I'm sorry. Should, those children should be facing life sentences. Yeah. There should be no, no difference between a child and an adult when you are taking the life of somebody else because you got mad. Yeah, I agree 100%. I mean, unless like a five, six-year-old grabs a gun and does some whatever, they truly don't That's know, an accident. You know. Right, right. An accident, but should be punishable by the parents to allow that five, six-year-old. Right. The parents should be charged with neglect for not watching their handgun and, the and their child. And the murder. Sure, sure. Without right. a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, but this one really, really bothers me because, you know, Growing up on the south side of Chicago and everything else, I've seen so much violence in my time. It's almost scary. I mean, it really, it is. It's scary to me. And it, it's, to me, it's worse now than it was back then. But, but with that being said, is, do you really, really think that our representatives, our government, our mayors, governors, you think they really give a fuck? No. No, they don't. Somebody is greasing those damn palms. Somebody is greasing those palms to say, hey, you know, this will die down. This will die down. Yeah, until tomorrow when the next mass fucking shooting happens, when our fucking children are fucking dying out there and our loved ones are dying and our government is sitting there turning around and saying, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It'll go away. It'll go away. You know what? Say that to the fucking people that lost their loved ones. That pain never goes away. And it's only anger. I guarantee you. The, there's people that have lost loved ones that used to have such a strong thing saying you can't touch our guns, can't touch our guns until one of theirs goes ahead and gets murdered and killed senselessly. I guarantee you they start thinking a little bit differently. I guarantee it. They never do any any shows on that. They never do it on the news, like interview people who have uh, that are strong uh, for guns and everything else, no matter what kind of gun doesn't matter. And everything else. I would love for them to go ahead and talk to them now after they lost a wife, a child, or whatever the case may be. I bet you they changed their fucking tune. Until it comes on your fucking front doorstep, until it comes into your life, people are fucking immune because they say it doesn't affect me. 
Someday it may affect you. Ask that 45 year old woman who, who's her husband no longer has a wife and a child and everything else. Go ahead and tell him that. Tell him that. You're well, exactly. The goddamn face. Exactly. I, it's just like a lot of parents are afraid to send their children to school because, oh, Jimmy got a gun and brought it to school. Why did Jimmy get a gun and why did Jimmy bring it to school? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, at what point in time do we start getting our heads out of our asses and really start paying attention? I guarantee you that Jimmy that brought the gun to the school went to the principal about being bullied, went to teachers, went to his parents, went to the bully's parents. Mm-hmm. And what happened? Absolutely fucking nothing. Mm -hmm. To where the child then turns around and says, I'm going to take this into my own hands. Right. You know, that that is a problem in society, too. That is a problem is that sometimes some of these kids are not being heard. There's always a sign. There's always a sign. I don't give a fuck what anybody tells me. Your children will give you a sign that there is a problem. Something's wrong in their life. But you got to be smart enough, parent, to have your ears open and your eyes open. And don't sit there and say, my child is perfect. There is no way that they could have done this or whatever or done something at school. Once you start enabling your children, once you start enabling your children to say, no, they didn't do it. They didn't do that. You know what you're telling them? Hey, do whatever the fuck you want. I got your back. Even if it's wrong, I still got your back. Right. My son's bully had to spend six months in juvie. Because I was not, nope, I'm not dealing with this. You fucking deal with it because he's coming home and he's pissed. Yes, my guns are locked and loaded. They're locked away and the clips are loaded. Let me put that specifically. My guns are not loaded, but the clips are loaded because it's an easy... Because let me tell you, somebody breaks into your house, you're not going to be like, oh, hold on, let me load my gun real quick. (laughs) Right, 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 right. I mean, seriously. Mm -hmm. But, again, he was coming home and he was pissed. I said, one or two things is going to happen. My son's going to bring a knife to school again. Because the first time this Dickhead was bullying my kid. My son went to school and grabbed the put the knife up to his throat and told him to leave him alone. You think the little dickhead would have learned? But because mommy and daddy, my child doesn't do anything. Her child's the bully. He didn't do nothing. First of all, motherfucker, you're not at school twenty four seven. So don't say you don't. You, you know, don't say you know what happens at school second of all there's cameras for a reason and third of all my child was the one that got knocked unconscious because of your child and my son was walking your son ran up behind him therefore your son was the one that committed the act my son was just walking now imagine if he had access to the gun he does i will tell you right here right now my son has access to any gun in this house now Again, but it's not loaded, correct? It's not loaded. Okay, there's a there. But a he difference. still has access to the gun. Mm-hmm. Does my son go out and shoot people? Not that Does I'm aware. Does my of- <laughs> son even think of shooting anybody? No. Why? Because he don't want to become a cannibal and he don't want to eat people. Hmm. Hmm. He knows damn well if you shoot somebody or something, because we do go deer hunting. If you shoot it, you eat it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you shoot somebody, you're going away to prison and I'll make sure the judge does. I'll stand up in the corner and say, no, he knows better. His ass needs discipline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But again, I'm going back to the Kansas City thing is because there's no accountability so far. I'm seeing none. There's none. 
absolutely yeah. done. I mean, I they have not even like I said, I'm searching the web, I'm searching everything to see even if the parents what their thought processes are. Is the mom and dad together? Are they divorced? Are you know, are these kids homeless? I mean, they ain't really I understand because since they're minors, I believe by law. They can't let out certain information because they are minors. Because normally, normally when there's a mass shooter or whatever the case may be over the age of 18, they release the name and everything else. They're not releasing the name. Not so far. Unless it came out while me and you are doing this live stream. I don't know. But again, not live stream. Podcast. Sorry, guys. Uh, but no, I mean, it gets to the point that I'm wondering what goes through somebody's mind to go ahead and take another life that they don't even know. I mean, it, to point a gun at a 45-year-old mom that is there just to have a good time, psychologically, there's got to be something not right there. I mean, to me, I mean, it can't just be a random act or, you know, I, I got mad and I just pulled the trigger. Well, hell, we all get damn mad doesn't mean that we're all going out and they're shooting each other and everything else because we're pissed off. You know, there's got to be some type of law put in place and everything else. I mean, maybe some laws on the people are selling these guns to these younger people and everything else, if they're illegal and everything else. Start putting strict laws, not just a fine or a year or two in prison. No, if someone buys a gun from a gun owner shop, and they did it illegally, and the gun owner did not do their due diligence to check for all the criteria needed to buy a gun, I believe personally that that gun owner should be charged also with murder because if they did not get the gun from that gun owner shop and everything else, and they failed to do their job and everything else, they are just as guilty as the person that went ahead and pulled that trigger. Right. Uh, so did you hear that, uh, it wasn't just one or two guns, several firearms had been recovered with just two kids. Nope. Three. Oh, it was a third one. Hmm. Yeah. And sev several. Okay. Now they said that they just got a dispute. I would love for them to do a true investigation into that. This could be gang related very well could be gang related because normally i mean I, I would like to know actually how many guns were actually brought was it five six eight whatever i mean because if you went there with four or five guns or whatever and there was only three of them think about it you were hell bent on doing something you weren't just there to go ahead and watch the chiefs raise a damn super bowl trophy just saying just saying something ain't right here and i'm hoping that they actually come out after they get done doing a full investigation and everything else exactly what the hell happened and where they got these guns where did they get them right police said that the other 22 victims minus the one that was killed which was uh lisa oh she was a popular radio dj lisa yeah, yeah. lopez galvin she was the one that was murdered, but police said that the other 22 victims ranged from the age of 8 to 47, and at least half were under the age of 16. Children's Mercy Hospital has said that the youngest patient they received was 6 years old. Jesus Christ. Mm, mm, mm. And they're only doing... Three of them, three of them um, were... Uh, arrested only two of them are being um charged. charged with shooting at the kansas city and that left one person dead and 22 injured so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's my point though okay if the third one was released which means that they're not being charged so it's technically they're saying there's only two shooters not three because otherwise the third one wouldn't be let go or anything but again how many times how many times do we as a society have to see this happen <clears throat> i mean sandy hook i mean you can go on and on and on unnecessary uh killings and everything the thing in las vegas you remember that when the guy just started spraying into the crowd and everything else it happened in las vegas many years ago and shut the door 
I mean, when when you start showing, when you start doing this stuff, and the next, you know why? You know why nothing happens? Because these mass shooters and everything else, they're like, well, nothing's going to happen to me. I can go to jail. That's it. Right. Yeah. There's not anything really held. Uh, they're not being really held accountable. Now, um, in one of the reports that I was reading, it stated that they also resisted arrest, which means that they decided they were going to go ahead and shoot up a parade mm -hmm. and then turn around and run away and resist arrest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What What's that? Uh, there, there was a song out there talking about how... Um, it's not child abuse to discipline your parent, uh, kids and that uh, you run around and hold them on, uh, uh, put them on a leash. And at the age of 16, they start throwing a tantrum because they learned this thing called law. Yeah. Because nobody wants to hold their child. You know, they, they don't want to teach their children about the laws. You can't do this. It's illegal. Stop doing this. It's illegal. All right, fine. Here, let me call 911 myself. You want to do stupid shit? I'll fucking get you arrested myself. I don't care. You know, the problem is with the young people and everything else, they look this shit up and everything else on Google. What is what they can get in trouble for and everything else in different places like, hey, my parents beat me. My parents uh, do this or whatever. What can I do or whatever? And then it's like Polly want a fucking cracker. They turn around and threaten their parents and parents are stupid enough to go ahead and just say, yeah, I better watch it and everything else. Because again, I believe the law is at fault far as with mass shootings and everything else because they took away the power of the parent they really have i mean they imagine imagine uh like even with me like on lunatic dad right i mean some of that stuff you see and everything else you're like oh my god and everything else some people would call that child abuse or whatever the case may be no i call that fucking straight up 100 percent. maybe your child will fucking learn sooner or later no like with me you want to call the law on me? You're 16 years old. Let's go, little boy. We'll go for rounds. I'm going to beat your fucking ass six times harder before the cops get here. And when they get here, I'm going to explain why I beat your ass. Why mm -hmm. I beat your ass the second time. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go enjoy my 30 to 60 day stint in fucking prison. You know what drives me most nuts? When I hear people who never had a kid who never had a kid trying to give parenting advice to a parent. I mean, it drives me fucking insanely nuts because I do get the part of a parent with a child's, the love and everything else. A lot of times when this type of stuff happens, the parent is in denial because they don't want to believe that they raised something that would do something like that. They feel like they failed as a parent because how did it get to this point? How did it escalate to this point? I must have done something wrong as a parent for them to get to that point. No, maybe you did nothing wrong. And the way society goes ahead and teaches these kids when you're not around and everything else, that is why they turned the way they did. Because you don't come out of a mother's womb and all of a sudden you're a fucking murderer. I'm sorry, you can't, you can't, I won't buy that. I won't buy it, you know? You know what, this, this right here is what's wrong with society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, with, without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, that, have you seen those kids that are literally, I want mac and cheese and just fucking punching their parents? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. You want mac and cheese, go cook the shit yourself. I ain't your fucking slave. Yep. Yep. 100%. I'm not your slave. Go cook that shit yourself. Because here, at the end of the day, you ain't going to hit me. And, there, you know, here's the sad part is that a lot of people turn around and say, well, there were mass shooters that are 40, 50 years old. You're right. You're right. that There were and everything else. A lot of them and everything. But, but there's something wrong psychologically. You just don't fucking all of a sudden snap like that and want to kill people you don't know. This is not normal human fucking behavior. This is something that has snapped in the human mind. 
I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a doctor. But I know I know stupid when I see stupid. And as far as I'm concerned, until we go ahead and get a grips on our gun controls, I'm sorry, I'm laying this at the foot of the parents, and I'm laying this at the foot of the individual who did it, and laying the foot at our government. They're all three tied together in my eyes. They're all three tied together. I mean, because, you know, okay, fine, the parents get the guns, okay, and the kid, they don't put it away safe. The kid gets the gun, he shoots somebody, or whatever the case may be. Or the kid is old enough to get their own gun, and they got psychological problems. No one even doing the checks that they're supposed to fucking do. Like you were saying earlier inside this podcast. You know, let's have a moratorium. You know, let's let's wait a little bit or whatever. Just don't say after 48 hours. Man, listen, I guarantee you, half of these uh, the states that do the background checks and everything else, I guarantee you, I wish I could get into their fucking computers and everything else. How many really do the background checks? Think about that. How many actually really do it? Or do they just wait 48 hours and turn around and say, okay, you you can go have a gun? I'm just right. curious. I'm just curious. Um... In 2018, six of the nine deadliest mass shootings in the United States were by people who were 21 or younger. Wow. 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 Which means that most of them ain't even able to have a gun. In certain states, it is 18, but I know it's 21 here. In they fit in a critical age range, roughly 15 to 25. Wow. Wow. I did not know that. Good, good research. Good research. I mean, but again, I mean, come on, 15 to 25. I mean, when, when, when I'm hearing all this, uh, you know, with these young youth and everything else, I mean, it's such wasted life so much that, you know, but so much hurt comes of it and everything else. And if they got, if you're able to do this, and everything, look up on the computer and find these facts and everything else. You don't think the federal government and our local government doesn't have the same damn ability to find out, hey, we got to do something about this. And you just found it right now. Tell me these people that are in these offices don't see this neither. You're out of your fucking mind. 15 to 29. That means at some point in time, or 15 to 25. Okay. So... 21, 22, 23, and 24, 25-year-olds. They're at work. Where is most of the accidents school at work? Uh, well, most actually. Most of the mass shooting is at school at work. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were saying. And majority of them. Do you know what the majority of uh, shooters are? White. Hmm. That don't surprise me. That does not surprise me at all. Hmm. I'm going to say this loud and I'm going to say this proud. White people get your shit together and take care of your fucking kids. You don't see a black person out there not whooping their kids' ass. But a white woman, they'll be like, oh, my baby Timmy. Fucking take care of your kids. Teach them right from wrong. So they're not out there shooting people at the age of 15 to 25. And if you don't, you should be held responsible. Drop that mic, girl. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I mean, and like I said, though, the gun violence, I mean, what you're saying and everything else. But like I said, I mean, it, it's such a huge, huge, uh, big bowl of shit if you look at it i mean because your gangs your gangs and everything else like i said in city in chicago and everything with my beautiful city that i love and i will die in saying i love my city and everything else but i mean i think crime and gun violence in my eyes has no race i mean it it's an equal opportunity to go ahead and fuck somebody up it's an equal I mean, opportunity but at the same point in time you tell i will bring the statistics up because once again your homie really loves fucking true crime there I, is there is a point where gun gang related crimes is more on black uh, colored on color okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's gun gang related mm -hmm. 
all of the other shootings that happened, the mass shooting, the deer hunting shooting, all of those are mainly white on white, white on black, white on whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, does that fall into a racist attack at the same point in time? I don't think it's racist. I think with these mass shootings, the white people, I think that that predominantly as you, you know, you've looked up the research and everything else. I just think that they're just hell bent on killing somebody. They, it has nothing to do with race when it becomes in an open area. Which know? then brings it down into at what point in time are we not doing a psychological evaluation? And I'm not talking about, do you have a mental illness? Do you have this? Do you have the no, I'm talking, you need to go into a psychiatrist's office, register with them, do at least four appointments, and a thorough investigation on your mental stability before you can have any gun. Mm -hmm. And for all the people that are selling them on the black market or getting them through gun, uh, the black market, gang-related, whatever, off the streets, at that point in time, you should be charged twice. Go on Google right now and look for 22 or whatever or 45 or whatever, you know, where to purchase a gun. And they make it so fucking easy. I mean, literally so easy. And to me, the way I look at it is, is that we've made it so accessible guns that we got a fetish. There is a fetish in America for guns. Look at your other countries and everything else. Why don't they have all this uh, massive uh, gun violence and everything else? I'm not saying they don't have none, okay? I'm not saying that. But nowhere near the amount of what's happening in the United States. Nowhere near it. Why? As I said, it's a profit, 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 profit. The fucking politicians won't ever introduce anything that'll save us from ourselves i know it is sad to say that we need to be saved from ourselves but hell at what point in time are we going to turn around and say enough is enough we need help american people we need fucking help are you listening government we need fucking help we cannot do this alone yes there's a lot of money and a lot of powers that be that want to shut people like froggy and dad down they don't want to hear this shit and everything else but we are still pro-gun as we said we are pro-gun both of us but we are against fucking being able to have accessibility to people that should not be in their hands and not proper checks to make sure the people who should have guns have them the people who don't have fucking guns you should not have them and there's got to be some type of protective mechanism so that we can have a fail safe so we don't have what the fuck happened in kansas city that should never fucking happen ever period period should never happen mm. i'm gonna blow up like a fucking tootsie ball hmm. yeah i said the word blow up better watch it just saying uh oh Froggy's doing some investigating. Did you see her eyes? They're getting like really big and like a frog. She's actually permitless, like a permitless, where you don't have to have a permit to carry states. There is 21. Oh my God. There is only uh, oh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28 that you You're, need to have a fucking permit for. Now, out of those 28 with the permit, how? what is the guidelines to get a permit? You have to do a psych val and everything else. That's the question. Do you have to go through anything except just fill out the damn permit and wait till your background check of criminal or anything comes back clean, then you can have a gun? Or is it that easy and that's it? You have, you have, um, well, again, it depends on the state. But um, I know in Iowa, which, by the way, is a permanent permanent list state. You do not have to have a permit in Iowa. Mm. Um, 
<laughs> okay, I'll go Minnesota because I I was born and raised in Minnesota, and you have to have a permit. In order to get a permit, you have to go through gun safety. Mm. You have to go through um, deer hunting classes. You actually have to go in and do a gun safety class. You have to do a gun, you know, you have to, like, have your hunting permit and whatnot, which, again, you have to go through gun classes for that. And then you have to take um you do not have to have an evaluation which is really stupid because it should be automatic um but once you're done with that you go take a test and then once you get done taking the test you can go ahead and easily register a gun so basically you're telling me if you do things the right way, that sounds like a pretty uh, good uh, safety mechanism. Right. Sounds like it to me anyway. Yeah. Uh, I do want to correct you on your law because even it is a federal law. So Missouri has to follow that law. You can be 18 to buy a shotgun or a rifle. Wow. You must be 21 wow. to buy a handgun. Now, the average human being for women they do not get their full capacity brain capacity until they are the age of 25. like their full cannot uh, you're thinking, telling me i can get a shotgun which can do a hell of a lot more damage at the age of 18 but i can't get a handgun over there until i'm 21. anywhere does that sound right to you? I mean, no, it does not. But wow. I do want to bring in we as humans, women get their full co like thinking capacity. They're actually getting their life straightened out. You know, they fully know what they want at the age of 25. Men, it's 27 years old. Shit, what happened to me? I'm still not there. You're there. You're just. You still think like a child. You I, think you think like a horny teenager. But at the same point in time, you know what's right from wrong and all of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You just have a high libido. Libido. Sure, I'll call myself Beetle. <laughs> no problem, but, Beetle. <laughs> no, a libido, which is oh, libido. I thought you called, I thought you called me Beetle. No, I was like, okay, Beto, Vito, whatever. It's huh? your high sex drive. You have a high sex drive. Some people have no sex drive. Hmm. Total different things. That, yeah, once that's, again, that's another subject another day. <laughs> their brain their brain processing and growing is not done until they are 25 to 27 years old. Why are we allowing them anything until they are that age? I, you know, that, that that's a good damn question. That is a good damn. I don't have the answer to it, but hey, I'm gonna nominate you, damn president. Put that shit into law, girl. <laughs> Maybe we can stop a lot of this bullshit that's going on out here. Hmm. I'd like that. My my thinking is if we really hone in on the gun control. Now the NR or the NRA. NRA can come into your house without a warrant at any time and check your guns. Now that then goes into the fact of people or not the NRA, it's the wildlife refugee. Then they would say that you're violating our rights that you just can't come into our home. I mean, that's there are certain things in our Bill of Rights right. Constitution so, that protect us from that. Why, if we have mandated reporter or mandated fucking social workers and everything else, why is it that we do, let's say Social Security gets called to your, or not Social Security, uh, Social Administration. Services, Social Services. Social Services gets mm -hmm. called into your house because of whatever reason. Why are we not including a gun task force that if they notice let's say your principal or you know somebody really noticed that 
something is going on. Mm -hmm. Your worker, whatever. Why are they not able to go in, make sure your guns are registered, do a full psych evaluation, and then work with you on how to maintain whatever? Why are we not helping these people with guns? Like, they help people with their children. I like that idea, actually. I but, like again, we get very judgmental people. Or it works both ways where we can have bad ones and good ones. But, again, why are social, social service workers, if they're to be involved with the family, I think part of the, one of the mandates of being involved with a family is they should have a child of their own. Because Mm. I have seen so many social workers. Now, remind you, my kid is schizophrenic. I've had to deal with social workers up to here. Why is single ones that don't really, like, they go by the guidelines of your house should be, I mean, spotless. It shouldn't even look like you live in a house. It should look like a spick and span. But let me tell you, I have seen social workers' houses that have been messier than my house Mm -hmm. at any point in time. And they're going to come in and tell me how I should live my house, how I should live. Mm -hmm. But see, that gets to the point of having government coming into your home. And that's why when it's getting back to your gun legislation and everything else, that's the fine line that they have. I love the idea and everything else. I think that the law enforcement should have the ability that if they get any tips or shown any type of erratic behavior or whatever the case may be, should be able to come to your home, knock on the door and just do a wellness check or something, whatever right. the case may be. Because I mean, some some of these mass shooters and everything stuff that they've done, it's their first offense. It's it's been a known fact. They've had no problems with the law, no nothing. They just snap. I mean, literally. And then they just go ahead and just go off and kill a bunch of damn people. I mean And it's, it's really sad and pathetic that they would honestly do that. I mean it is it's it is horrible. It is, it is, it is. But we are coming to the end of our the asylums podcast. Would you like to say any final words on this subject? Yes, I would. Uh, first off, these are opinions of my daughter, Lunatic Froggy, and, and my opinion, Lunatic Dad. As you see, we didn't agree on everything, but almost everything. And the only thing I would love to say, love to say, people, be responsible if you're a gun owner. Lock up your guns if you're a parent so that the kids cannot get access to them. And to the people that are hell-bent on just killing people just for shits and giggles, you need to be locked up and throw away that damn key. Because at the end of the day, gun violence has to stop here in the greatest country in the world, the United States of America. And please, people, think about other people's families before you take a life. Go ahead. I would like to say that, as Dad said, we don't always agree, but we agree to disagree, and that's how it is. Um, We need to teach our children. We need to get our heads out of our cell phones. We need to get our heads out of our asses, and we need to get back to where we teach our children right from wrong. Where there's back in the old days, there were still killers. There were still all these other things. But it was a lot less than what it is now. And to the police, to the judges, start charging these children like they're grown-ass adults. If they're going to make a grown-ass decision, they need to take the grown-ass consequences. But we love you all so very much. Make sure you check out Lunatic Dad. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us your thoughts. Tell us your opinions. And just remember, we truly love each and every single one of you. And we want nothing but the best. 
for you. So please be courteous, be kind, and have a great day. Love y'all. Bye. Bye.